Happy Friendship Friday! It's Carol from Crinkle Path Journals and hi friends, how are you all doing today? I hope you're getting ready for a wonderful weekend. I have a stack of happy mail that came this week and Friendship Friday is hosted by our friend Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic and Friendship Friday can be a shout out to a channel, it can be opening happy mail, it can be an Etsy purchase from a friend, whatever you want it to be related to your friends. And while I'm talking about my friends in the junk journaling community, I just want to remind you about the hashtag love a little channel. When I did my first live sale with Angela the Traveling Crafter just over a week ago, we featured that hashtag in the chat. And I and Carrie, the paper monkey, and Angela, the traveling crafter, have all been using it in our community posts and shout outs. And we would love for you to use it as well and let us know about n creators that are new to you that are putting out great content. And we want to share a little love with all the channels out there that are putting out good content. So post it, use it. <laughs> uh, Share channels in your community posts and use the hashtag. Thanks so much. Now stick around and see what I received. First, I got this happy mail from Dolores J. Rush. So I have been, I have opened them all, but I have not peeked in any of them. She loves to decorate her envelopes. I don't know. Let me know. I, I always I always would love to do this, but there's part of me that maybe it's a unrealistic fear, but I always think somebody's going to see it's happy mail and think it's something valuable and steal it. <laughs> maybe that's just my neck of the woods. All right, let's see what Dolores sent. We have a farmhouse style magazine. Oh, she knows I love farmyard stuff. This is cute. Did you make this, Dolores? Oh, let's see. Oh, she just said that the Secret Santa Swap was a great idea and that she had a lot of fun. And we will definitely do it again next year. We will have a launch date in May where you can sign up. May? Yeah, I think it was May. Like May 20 or something. <laughs> but... That's a ways away. Just keep an eye out if you'd like to do the Secret Santa Swap. Thank you, Dolores. Is this one of your drawings? It looks like it was printed. She does drawings for her church with Bible verses, and this reminds me of some of her drawings. Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of fun things tucked in here. Ea, ea, oh. oh, I love it. I used to use these for my kids' journals when they were little. What a reminiscent thing that is. And speaking of kids, my son-in-law and daughter just pulled in the driveway. We have the baby tonight. My husband's answering the door. A luggage tag, perfect for travel journals. Hmm, Quaker Oats. Frosted flakes, berry cherry, you know, there is a tropical fruit, not a, uh, not a fruit cocktail, but it's a tropical fruit mix that has papayas and pineapple and mango, I think. They're hard to find, but they're pretty good. Some butter. I love the tractor. <laughs> oh, sliced beets. I don't know. I think maybe my German heritage because I love sliced beets. My goodness, there's something in every <laughs> in every page, Dolores. Thank you. This took a lot of work to gather up all these things. Dolores is a true junk journaler. She really likes to use and recycle all kinds of things like this. So great examples of things that you can use in your junk journals. 
I love the magazine too. Images are great. Fun Christmas stuff. <laughs> oh, this will be cute. Cute for a travel journal too. Angela and I just did our live right after my live sale on Thursday. We had we had a live craft and chat. And we worked on our travel journals, and this one's going to have to go in my Hawaii journal. Some recipe cards. Those are nice. Oh, and some blue ones. Fun. Oh, my. The pile's already falling apart. Oh, that's cute trim. Oh, look, the little duck's wing comes up. And the chicken. Oh, Dolores, those are cute. Cute borders. I'm going to have to speed this up or I'm going to be here all day. I've got packages and packages to go through. This is a good problem to have. <laughs> Beautiful paper bags. Oh, look at the paper bags on the tree there. I mean, on the hall tree. Or is that just a dresser and a... I guess it's a dresser and a mirror. <laughs> Now I don't want to miss any pages. Oh, I think that's tucked into the <laughs> magazine. Oh, that's cute. Clothes pins. Hmm. Some medical prescription. Oh, doilies. Pharmaceutical wrapping. Uh, not wrapping. Uh, instructions. Envelope making. Cool. I have an envelope punch that I borrowed from my daughter, but I have never used it for actually making envelopes. I make the cards that I wrap my lace on. Those are cute. Coloring pages. Awesome. Thank you, Dolores. That was really stuffed. All kinds of fun goodies. Super excited about all the farm stuff. And this is absolutely precious. Okay, then I got this giant box from my friend, Carrie the Paper Monkey. Um, I'm just gonna pull it all out and see what I see. I feel like I was open them upside down because I don't wanna have the address showing. Oh my goodness, Miss Carrie, what have you done? She sent some paper rulers. Oh, love it. A measuring tape. I was just cutting one up the other night, so I always need another one. Oh, more of these tickets. I think she said she got these from her previous job and they were getting rid of them and she snagged them. And they are awesome perforated tickets let's see oh she made a little baggie and she embossed it oh you sent some of your hand sewn snippets i love it carrie uh it's just something just incredible about receiving happy mail and then to get handmade things like Dolores's card and these snippet rolls from Carrie that she made with her own little hands. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, look at this. That is the coolest dangle on there. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, she knows my heart is booked, so I'm going to leave those for last. Oh, my goodness, more your snippet rolls. Oh, these are your Pioneer Woman fabric ones. This is awesome. I love teal. And I wore a lot of teal and red in the 90s. Oh, they're so cute. Carrie, you sent so many. 
Okay, the little bird's upside down. Sorry for those of you. Can't turn it around now. I'm committed. <laughs> this one's right side. Oh, these are going to be perfect for my farm journal. This one just reminds me of a farm kitchen or clothes on the line. Feed sack dresses. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. And it looks like a napkin. Oh my gosh, this has got to go in my 70s journal. That's fabulous. And then we've got, wow, that's got to be at least a yard of fabric. Cool polka dots. I love the colors. This, this would work fine in a, in a 70s journal too, for sure. And then this beautiful peach and pink floral. And it looks like honeycomb behind it, doesn't it? Oh, so nice. All right, let's look at what books she sent. Oh, I spotted a Candace Olsen. <laughs> All right, we've got Richard Scary. He, I said he's in my top 10 of illustrators. And I think it's because they're so nostalgic to me. I grew up with the big word book. And I loved it. Oh, and this is Christmas theme. Okay, y'all forget about the fact that she gave me this because I might need to use it for the next Secret Santa swap. Or I might just have to hoard it on my own bookshelf with my other Christmas books. We have a tradition with Christmas books. Put 25 books in a stack at Christmas. And I did this with my kids and I'm going to get to do it with my granddaughter. 25 bucks uh, out. We used to have a fireplace. We put it on the hearth. We don't have a fireplace anymore. We put them out and you read one children's Christmas book a night. And I loved it. And when our kids were really little, for a while I would wrap them and they could open the books. But that gets a little tedious with the with the wrapping paper. So it we just stack them up now or keep them in a gift bag and they have to pull one out. Here's the card. Oh, Carrie, this is so sweet. Thank you so much. This is absolutely wonderful. And, and yes, I'm going to do a video and say how wonderful you are and what a good friend you are because you're very deserving of having that said. <laughs> Thank you for your sentiments and for your care. She sent me this page from her favorite book, which is Simple Abundance. And it says, living is a form of not being sure, not knowing what next or how. The artist never entirely knows. We guess. We may be wrong, but we take leap after leap in the dark. I love it. I love it. This one says, I have made my world and it is much better world than I ever saw outside. Awesome. Thank you, Carrie. I'll read the rest of it when I'm off camera. Carrie, you sent me. <laughs> you sent me your Joy Wilk books. I was hunting for them on eBay and thrift books. I didn't get them yet. Haven't found them yet. I just loved the illustrations when she hauled these books. Um, they think they're from the 80s. Oh, 1979. But <laughs> the illustrations of the little children in here are absolutely adorable. <laughs> well, that was awkward. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, it's real life here. But oh, my goodness. These are adorable. You're, you'll be all right. You're all right. You're one of a kind. Handling your ups and downs. Oh, I love these. Surviving fights with a brother and sister. A guide to managing money. And keeping your body alive and well. Oh my goodness, Carrie. Six books plus Richard Scary. <laughs> I am feeling utterly spoiled. Thank you, friend. And then... 
another ruler. That's cool. See through. And then <laughs> she was talking to Angela, the traveling crafter, and I, and asking about Candace Olsen when she found these in a thrift store. I believe it was a thrift store. And Angela and I were both fangirling because I loved watching Candace Olsen's shows, mainly because she always drew the room that she was designing. And I think these books ha may have some of her drawings in it. Maybe not. But she was... Oh, yes. See, here's one. So she would draw the design and then literally they would take a photo and do a transition with the camera from the photo to the real room. And it was just amazing. And I used to love to draw uh, house plans and design plans. And so I think that's what appealed to me. That and her style is very much mix the old with the new. And she loves to do a lot of specialized lighting. And her rooms are nice and bright and cheery. I love it, Carrie. Thank you so much. Yes. Huge fan. Oh, look at the little shoes. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm overwhelmed. This is too generous. But that's, that's just who she is. <laughs> I love it, Carrie. Thanks again. I can't say thank you enough. Let me move it aside. Okay. Next, I have an Etsy order. Angela had done a review of Celeste from Woodland Inspired's Etsy shop, and she had ordered a kit. Wait, I gotta open this one first. And so she said she was having a sale, and so I went and bought a couple of the sale things. And then Celeste was messaging me and saying, I want to send you extras. And I was like, I barely ordered anything. You don't have to send me any extras. Oh, Celeste, that's a lot. Oh, I have to take this off too. You know, I just started doing live sales and here I'm packaging up my things. And I'm feeling very inadequate in the package it cute department. I do have a tiny little sticker with my logo on it that I've been putting on things, but I don't, I, I didn't include thank yous or anything. I was trying to get the orders out really quickly, but I'm going to keep improving. So thank you to those of you who purchased from me at the live sale. And I'm sorry if your package wasn't pretty this time around. I'm going to keep working on that. <laughs> All right, this is my order. Pretty sure. Oh, wait. I don't know. I can't remember what I ordered. I thought I ordered stamps. Well, let's just see. I think she sent a whole bunch more stuff than she was supposed to. <laughs> I think this is her card from me to you. Oh, look out. Now, Celeste is the queen of gorgeous packaging. So if you don't know, her Etsy shop is a lot of die cuts and embossed items. And they're all gorgeous. And she packages them so beautifully. Read her card here real quick. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Celeste. Guys, you seriously need to go check out her shop because just wait and see. <laughs> Little thank you card. Oh, I told her I liked sewing theme things. Look how cute that little stamp is tucked in there. The flowers, the tag. That's so cute. And everything in their little envelopes. I 
I want to take them out and look at them, but I'm going to try and get them back in their packages in case I want to gift them to someone else. Look how adorable these little pockets are. Oh, Angela was talking about these. What a great gift card envelope. Oh my goodness. That I love this floral. I love little prints. That's so cute. Okay, and then here's some of the stamps that I ordered and they're embossed. Oh, those are so cute. And then she's included a little file folder. They're all so tiny and cute. I guess I guess they look bigger to me when they're on camera for people, but they they're so dainty and lovely. Oh, I love this too. Okay, confession time. I have a embossing machine that I hauled if you watched my Thrifty Thursday. And I have used it mm, half a dozen times now. And then Angela sent me a die cut. And I didn't own a one die cut. And I had to go buy a die cutting machine from somebody off of Facebook Marketplace. Because I'm not, I wasn't going to do it. But I'm so excited about the library card pocket die that Angela gave me. I had to go buy one. So I haven't hauled that in a Thrifty Thursday video yet. Look at this precious. I'm going to leave this one in there. Born 1893, 24th of August. Oh, my oldest daughter's birthday is in August. And then she even embossed the card that she put in to hold the package. Gorgeous. Okay, here's my order. I'm going to double check what I ordered because... I think, I think she sent me a lot of extras. <laughs> See what I mean? Like the cute stickers, like I've got to get my act together. So let's look at, see what she sent. Okay, I gotta do this. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't see the was over the hole. Oh my goodness. Now I know why Angela said, I don't want to mess it up opening it. They're so precious, Celeste. Oh. Tag is put on with this little tiny sticker. Well, so much for having a shorter video. I am i can't do this quickly. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Maybe I can fast forward. <laughs> okay. I think these are the stamp sets. Maybe. I So all that other stuff was the extras, and these are my stamp sets. Oh, nice. I was totally thrown off with the flowers. I thought it was going to be more something like this. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling better now, but I am not taking these all out. Um, but you can see it, they are the, like the stamps that she had sent, like this, but all different sizes and they have the, you know, the embossing and the edging and different patterns. So I'm super excited about these. They're absolutely gorgeous. And the detail, I, I would, <laughs> I have a die cutter now, but I would not even begin to attempt to try and replicate her gorgeous things. I feel like a kid at Christmas.
Oh, gorgeous. I love, oh, I told her I like botanicals and pink. So that's where, that's why the envelopes are the colors they are. Whoops, where'd it go? So beautiful. The time and effort she must put into these is incredible. So precious. Thank you, Celeste. Okay, and then she said she thought that she she had sent me a little note saying, I think I shorted you on your stamp packages, but they all look like they're there to me, Celeste. But she sent me a second package. And I'm like, you have now paid more in shipping to send me more than I paid for my whole order. And so I'm feeling really bad, Celeste. Oh, she said she had a, uh, a mix-up in the description. And I didn't even notice. But that's just how honest she is. She's fixed the list listing, she said. Oh, Celeste, this, this is very sweet of you, but I feel bad that you had to pay for more postage. <laughs> Handle with love. I'm trying. It's so hard to take it apart without feeling like I'm destroying it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. Oh, I love it. They're absolutely fantastic, Celeste. Thank you so much. Okay, now, how do I very carefully gather this all up? I'm going to attempt to put things a little bit back once I get off camera. this in my correspondence journal okay last one I contacted uh, Carol Johnson from Lily Rose Blue about doing a swap this is the stuff she sent me and her package is going out today hopefully Sorry for the crinkles, but you know it's kind of my thing. <laughs> so let's see what she what she sent. I was swapping for the milk caps, and she sent extras, of course. <laughs> Some pretty pink lace. Oh, beautiful. Bird playing cards. Asian inspired playing cards. I love the colors on that too. Oh my goodness, Sesame Street. <laughs> He's a silly guy in a wagon and Ernie. And a couple napkins. Ooh, those are pretty. My first kitchen after I got married was all done in grapes. Okay, gotta set that aside. And then some Christmas things, calendar from 1989. Oh, no, it's a recipe book. I thought it was a calendar because of the date. Cute recipes and Upper Arlington Public Library. This is cool. Fun Christmas thing. They started calling me the Christmas Carol. In our circle, people talk about Carol or Carol. Is it Crinkled Path Carol? Is it LRB, Lily Rose Blue Carol? And um, some of them started calling me Christmas Carol after I did the Secret Santa swap. Uh, I, I, love, I love Christmas Carol. You can totally call me that. Oh, this is, these are cool. Beautiful coloring page. Oh, these are fun little certificates. <laughs> Cheetah print. Fun papers. Oh, and look at the 
look at the old book paper papers silver skates book what was the other it has another title uh gregorian hymn these are sweet little pages like perfect for a tiny journal or to check i like tucking pages this size in with a regular size page wait i don't want to fold them but let me show you so like that page gets folded in the signature and then this one wraps it i love that these are gorgeously aged pages thank you some hymn pages those are old love it some pages from king lear and henry the eighth and macbeth some shakespeare pages and then improving your speech boy sometimes i completely lose my words when i'm on camera <laughs> so i needed to read that book this looks like it's from a yellow pages kind of book but that's that's somewhere old the telephone numbers are just four digits Oh, look, it's a California calendar. Oh, fun. Sorry, I had these all upside down. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at the cartoon. So they swing her down the stairs. And they both fall on their face and she lands on her feet. Oh, I hope that's not us. The board of directors were playing ping pong. Those are funny. <laughs> oh, and some yearbook pages. So this is what I used to do. Uh, I used to stand on my husband just like that. But not to put up basketball hoops. We were part of an acro sports team in high school. Oh my gosh, look at the sleepover party. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Is this person wearing a mask over their face? They don't look normal. <laughs> and yep, that's some acro sports right there. And then last but not least, we have. An old vintage ladies' home journal. Some of the shopping pages. Very cool, Carol. Thank you. Well, and guess what, guys? She's coming to my part of the world. And I was chatting. I haven't even told her yet. But I was chatting with her and I was saying, Oh, we have our granddaughter of the weekend. You're coming into town. And... I was telling my husband, oh, Carol's coming into town in Sacramento, and here's the dates, and it's when we have our granddaughter overnight, and he said, you need to go. You need to go. Just go have dinner with her. Spend a couple hours. Enjoy yourself. You you getting the opportunity to meet her in person, you've got to do it. I, I can take care of the baby. It's no big deal. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. So, Carol, I'm coming for you. We're going to we're going to get dinner or lunch or whatever when your flight comes in. Um let's let's do it. If you want me to pick you up at the airport, I will do that too. <laughs> and here is what started this whole thing. I love them. So she said these were from an Iowa City, oh yeah, it says right on there, Iowa City Dairy, and they are lovely colors. And there's these bigger size, sent a lot, thank you. And then there's these smaller ones, same little dairy oh they're so cute i'm so excited to be able to use these in some of my kits and in 
some of my journals. So thank you all four of you ladies so much because you've been so generous to me. Thank you, Dolores, for packing that magazine for me. Carrie, thanks for spoiling me with extra books and your handmade items. Celeste, thank you for your attention to detail and your honesty and just way over doing it with the extras. I'm so thrilled with them and I'm so appreciative. And Carol, your extras too are fabulous. Thank you for being willing to swap. And I'm so excited to get to spend time with you in person. My first junk journal community friend that I get to meet in person. And it means the world to me that you are all the way from Iowa and I'm going to get to see you right here in my home state. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I get to go spend the next 24 hours with my granddaughter and I'm so excited about that. I just want to thank all of you out there in the YouTube community who have subscribed to my channel, who watch my videos, and who come back time and time again. And a special thanks to those of you who leave comments. I love to read your comments and have that dialogue back and forth with you and learn more about you. So thank you for that. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.